In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you one of the best setups out of the gun tight offset tight end in the New Orleans playbook. We're gonna be taking a look at the play PA shot seams in the New Orleans book. If you wanna get my entire offensive ebook on the New Orleans gun tight, make sure that you become a Patreon member. It is only $10 to do that, and you can sign up at the link down in the description. That'll get you access to all of our offensive and defensive ebooks. We just dropped a ton of defensive content in the Patreon this week, and we're working on updating some of our ebooks with the latest patch. So make sure that you become a Patreon member. Again, it's just 10 bucks to become a member, and the link is down in the description. The setup for this play is going to be essentially a flood concept to the left side. So ideally, we want to be with our deep corner route to the short side of the field uh, if we are wanting to go against standard flooding concepts. Um, I'm going to show you how this play is really, really valuable in just a second. But what we're going to do, here's your setup. We're going to streak the left wide receiver. We're going to drag our tight end. And then we have an option over here. We can either put this guy on a slot apprentice post if you want to do that, or you can put him on a slant. If you put him on a slant, then you don't have to have any hot rod abilities whatsoever. And we'll first show how this play works against man-to-man. -man. Typically against man-to-man, -man, this corner route to the left side is going to be open as long as that right there does not happen. It does kind of tend to, if you want to, if you want to beat man-to-man, -man, go ahead and don't put the streak and it isolates that corner and oftentimes he's gonna get wide open against man-to-man. That -man. You want that to be your best route runner, you know, short out elite, deep out elite, whatever you want to put on him um, to help him get open. Now, if it is man-to-man -man coverage, sometimes with the way this game plays this year, you get this random bump animation, but be patient with this. Typically, that corner out will be open uh, to the sideline. Now, the other thing that I want to quickly uh, talk about is, let's say that your opponent has inside shades or whatever, and you have short out elite on that outside receiver, uh, you should see he will light up. Also, a lot of times that right there happens if they press. If they press you out of tight, a lot of times that happens right there where he just kind of like his man just kind of dumbs out. So just at least give it a look. There's so much random bumping in this game. It's honestly a little bit difficult uh, to predict exactly what's going to happen um, whenever you're running routes like this. But there are some things that we're going we're, we're gonna to predictably know that it's really hard to run man coverage against tight. Now, this throw right here is only really helpful if they have um, if they don't have safety help over the top. So let's say, you know, in this example here, they're playing a deep half over on the right because they're worried about whatever, and they press you, and it's one-on-one -on -one over the top. Typically this year with the way the game plays, if it is one-on-one -on, -one on the outside, you should burn um, that coverage for at least a big play, if not a flat-out touchdown. As you can see right here, you know, that streak can just cook man-to-man. Uh, -man. So you have that option uh, as well. You always want to, I think, generally speaking, this is a little bit of a generalization, but um, I think it does make a lot of sense, especially this year's game, to have a streak on the field as much as possible because they just randomly get open. Um, they just do. Okay. Now, those two routes are decent against man, but really if it's man coverage, we're going to have a couple of routes here. Our drag route typically is going to get open over the middle, especially if he has the short in elite ability. Um, I believe that short in is better than route tech for most uh, the way that people are going to be utilizing their tight ends this year. So that's something to just kind of keep in the back of your mind. And then the other route that we have, and this is really the best route, is this motion slant. When he cuts, he almost always wins. It's easy separation, easy read for about 10 yards. Now, where this play really does a great job is against zone. Now, it is good against man, but it's great against zone. And against zone, what we're going to do here is we are going to try to attack uh, the short side flood concept with an absolute nuke of a corner route. So you see here, here's cover four. You're just going to pass like this to the outside. You want to ag. Um, you can possession catch that. I'll show you something against cover four in just a second. Um, but really, let's talk about cover three, and then we'll get to cover four and cover two. The beauty of this specific corner route is it's so deep. There's not a zone drop in this game that's going to play it. The only thing that does play it is cover four, which like I said, we're gonna show you how to make this really good against cover four. So that's cover three. I'll even baseline and press. A lot of people are starting to do this against tight where they baseline and they press it, uh, their zone coverage. And what you should see here is he's still gonna get open. You just wanna wait for him to get separation to the sideline. So you can see that corner rat is super good against 
against cover three to the left. It's also obvious for obvious reasons, pretty decent against cover two as well. Now cover two could actually give this a little bit of trouble because there are some matching principles in cover two. If they take the mid read off the field, the vert hook does have a chance to match this um, over the top. So you'll see right here, see how he matches that. So you need to free form that away from the defender. Typically that player won't have deep out zone knockout. And so that's typically a pretty safe read. Now, what about match coverage? Um, match coverage, this play can be pretty good against. It just depends on how they're defending it. If they, if they run like a basic cover four show two, oftentimes you've got to, you see how the free form there has to be on point. What you want to do with this is you want to basically try to turn it almost into a streak once he cuts to the outside. So um, if, if you know it's match, I'm going to show you something for match. But if you don't know if it's match, then you want to try to get it up and over the top of the defender. As you see right there, see how I highballed and freeformed it up and over the top of that defender. Now, if, it, if you know that it is match coverage, if you know that it is match coverage, drag the left receiver or just leave him on that out route and what you'll see is it will isolate this defend this defender and it will almost always be a massive play if not a flat out touchdown so that's that's how i like to work against match coverage and then you kind of get in this game of are they putting a third over there are they not putting the third over there right um some of those questions now um let's talk about cover two a little bit so really i want to talk about cover two from the lens of a double mabel cover two and then we'll get into cover four drop as well um so this play is really designed to, to just destroy cover two mabel and the reason why is if you think about cover two mabel right you have these deep clouds and then you have these underneath like you know flat zones that are going to take away the flats and then the user is going to be in the middle of the field trying to take away your drag and trying to take away that route to Irvin. so what you're going to notice here is this corner you're going to freeform that up and as you can see, that's got a pretty good chance at just destroying cover two. Now, if you are going up against someone that is running a lot of zone and they do have deep out zone knockout abilities, one of the things I want to recommend um, is working on your free form based off of leverage. You've got to get the ball away from the knockout. So the best way to do that is to take this to the sideline. As you can see, not going to not going to get touched. And oftentimes this can be a one play touchdown for uh, cover two. And that leads me to my last thing, and that's to talk a little bit about cover four. If you notice that they are running a lot of cover four, um, it takes a very advanced player to know this tip. Um, if you know that they are running a lot of cover four and their base their base aligning and their pressing it all i want you to do is call this play like if you know they're not running cover three call this play to the to the with your twins to the wide side of the field and what you'll see is this corner route should be a touchdown against baseline press cover four as you see right there huge play against that so again i just want to explain what's going on basically the quarter um madden is based off of grids and the way they the way they designed zones this year is zones will basically do a little bit of a drift, but they won't drift like they used to. So they won't get back on stuff like this. So if you run a streak right here, you can do whatever you want on the back side of this. You can run a, you can run what we showed you, or you can run whatever other concepts you want to run. But what you'll see is that quarter just can't get back in time. And that's a, a literally a, almost always going to be a one play touchdown against cover four. So if they are running a lot of cover four, this is the best thing you can do. This will also still beat the cover two double Mabel. The one thing it doesn't beat, and I'm going to explain it, it does beat it in other ways but the one thing that it doesn't always get great separation against is a traditional cover three as you see right here see how he matches on to that player and he takes that away so that's something you need to know now if you are let's say that you guess wrong right and let's say one adjustment very simple that they can do is call a cover four but run a cover three coverage to the wide side of the field this is something that i recommend in my three three uh defensive ebook right if you want to play some serious zone coverage that will teach you how to do it um, but what you'll see here is then you can check down underneath. So if you ever get caught, feel free to check down. Anyways, that's tight offset tight end. That's PA shot seams. One of the best plays in Madden right now, especially for attacking zone coverage. It's very difficult to defend this play well in any kind of zone coverage. We have some other plays we're going to show you out of Saints this week. But thanks for watching the video. If you want to get my entire New Orleans offensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. The link is down in the description below.